All right, good evening. Welcome, everybody. I am trying to finish up uh, these zodiac signs. I had a lot of things to get done this weekend, so I wasn't able to um, get that done. So I'm going to be working on these readings the next couple of days. So have some patience, please. Um, these are general reads. These are not personal reads. Um, we, I sugar, I don't sugarcoat on my channel. All right. I believe in positivity, regardless the outcome, because stewing in misery and anger does not, or stewing in anger doesn't bring anything but misery to your own life. Okay. So, yeah, I I I read the cards the way my intuition leads me. All right. So this is going to be for the sign of Gemini. We're gonna see what's in store for Gemini. All right, for the lovely Gemini twins. All right, here we go. All right, got to turn it this way because I do not start decks in the reverse, all right? So, let's see. All right, Gemini, what's going on already? Five of Swords. That was literally at the fucking top of the deck, and I turned it around. And, well, obviously, it was meant to be in the reverse. I don't really like when Spirit does that because that pretty much sets the tone for the whole reading, but it is what it is. We have to take what you need to hear okay so with the five of swords upright or in the reverse is not a very good card especially to start off the reading here <clears throat> you got to release any linger um lingering resentment you need to forgive and i feel you really have the desire to want to reconcile something yeah you really have that drive and determination to want to forgive um, somebody. But I feel it's going to be hard because you still got a lot of, like, revenge in you, okay? It's like you need to just cut your losses here and find a resolution, all right? Because you can have the ability to do this here, to reconcile, find a compromise, and try to resolve this. Let go of any remorse or revenge or regret any of that just let go of it because that is how you're going to succeed okay it's kind of like i just spoke up all right use your mind wisely use your mind over your heart all right because your heart can really fool you into um it can throw you off yeah see you have the ability here but you got to release Okay, that's that's key to this reading is releasing. Don't hang on to this lingering resentment and finding excuses to say, you know, oh, well, I'm this way because of... No. Okay? You don't let some... Don't let somebody rule over you. Don't let somebody tell you who you are. All right? Because a lot of people are going to tell you bad things about yourself. And when you stay angry and you focus on that, you know, you're not bringing good things into your life. So that's why it's saying here and coming out very strong, it's you got to release resentment, okay? You've got to forgive. Cut your losses. We got the Hierophant, yeah. So there could have had something to do with, we got the Two of Wands that came out with that here. I feel you really need to make a decision here, okay? And I feel that you're like trying to figure it out. But it could be in a relationship here where, you know, you just need to either cut your losses or find a way to compromise and reconcile. But I feel that, you know, you your beliefs might be a little outdated. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Ah. Uh, so we're going to look into this Hierophant, though. So for some of you, this could be a commitment that just kind of might have had some issues. Yeah, some changes need to come. All right, with the Knight of Swords there. But why is this Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Other than, you know, what they the Hierophant symbolizes, but I really want to know a little bit more about this. So we got the Six of Wands in the reverse. Oh, yeah, see, something went south in your life, okay? Something, 
something maybe broke your heart and that's why you got this lingering resentment within you all right and having a hard time forgetting it hurt you bad okay and it's you might be punished i feel like you're punishing yourself here and i feel your pride might be getting in the way of you being able to forgive and let go here or and cut your losses or reconcile here all right it to me it's 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 just punishing yourself all right it's just going to leave you with this lingering pain and heartbreak you know that's that's how i see it i feel you're not really getting anywhere in this situation Let's see what else we got here. Let's look into this. I want to, this five of swords. So there could have been some hidden things. Uh, you know, there could be some things that were kind of hidden from you. All right, why is the five of swords in the reverse? Okay, yeah, there was something with collaborating, something with teamwork here, building. You're cut could be cutting your losses with a commitment because we do have a here twice or a marriage yeah we got the eight of cups here somebody's ready to leave this behind somebody's done yeah here we got the ace of cups well no because look at this these all came out somebody here i feel needs to quit wallowing and you know self-pity here and quit playing the victim and just step forward because it shows here that you want to cut your losses all right and you know with this five of swords it can also be you know that you need to just reconcile here either that or cut your losses when it comes to this commitment here but these cards here shows you want things to change you've been stuck in this on this for far too long all right and it's time to bring things into harmony. All right, whether you guys really come together and continue this is, you know, it's a possibility because we do have the Three of Pentacles here where some of you are going to be able to work this out. All right, you guys are going to be able to recover from this. You're going to be able to forgive each other and move on because you guys are one another's fulfillment here. All right, a lot of emotions surrounding you guys and i feel that you need to just allow your intuition to guide you all right we've got the world here you know it it could be that you're just you know carrying on going some of you might be wanting to travel you know to kind of get away from this a little bit but i see that this can come to completion here and you can be fulfilled here all right so let's clarify this world card let's clarify this world card here let's clarify the world we got the eight of wands so i feel that you're kind of just waiting it out okay harmony is going to be restored into your life because i feel you're going to just kind of release this energy and just kind of carry on new start but with this eight of wands in the reverse i kind of see it as slow down here a minute all right there's gonna there might be some delays here You might be a little unprepared. Why is this Eight of Wands in the reverse? Why is it? Ace of Wands. Okay, so yeah, things are going to kind of slow down for a little bit here, but there will be a renewal. This renewal is going to, you know, you're going to have to wait a little bit, all right? And there might be a little chaos involved. You might feel like you're losing momentum. But we do have the Ace of Wands here when it's all said and done. 
All right. It's like. You're finding that willpower here to wait. But I see renewal. I see you have the willpower. All right, what is this combination here? Ace of Wands with the Eight of Wands. For the Geminis. For the Geminis, please. Well, maybe, okay. So we've got here, somebody, somebody here is so freaking worried. They're panicking, they're worried. They're stressing over a new beginning here. I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or if it's the person you're dealing with, but somebody here is all up in their shit. All right? I feel like they feel like you're not going to want this because they might have taken advantage of you in the past, and that's why you've got lingering resentment here. Maybe they were inconsiderate about your feelings, all right, and just very reckless with the way that they were towards you. And just kind of careless and naive. But this person, we're going to get a final outcome here. Let's get a final outcome for the Geminis. Final outcome for the Geminis, please. Final outcome. Oh, well, we got the Page of Cups at the bottom. So you guys, this person might be coming back in with, you know, starting off with a small offer here. We do have the High Priestess here. In the reverse, we're going to put those back in. It's a lot underneath that. Hmm. Or you could be dealing with the Pisces, Gemini, you're here, Taurus, Aries. But you need to just... This person's got a lot of repressed feelings, okay? We've got the Hangman and more Piscean energy here. Yeah, see, a lot of waiting is going on. It's just a waiting game. It's like, I don't think we're going to be able to really find out here exactly what's going to fully happen unless I spend time and pull another deck here to really, really dig in. But this is a general read here. But it's like somebody's stalling here because they're worried, they're stressing. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going to happen, but it's like it says. it's It's slowing down here. It's losing some momentum before this comes in, okay? So let's get some self-care um, cards for the sign of Gemini. For the sign of Gemini. So yeah, try to, you gotta have patience here, okay? This is very, very, this energy slowing down here. But just stay focused. You know, don't let it consume you. Let go. The more you let go, the more you pull that person in. If that's what you want. But just, you know, even just releasing them is good for you. For Gemini. What was that? I literally flipped. Make a meal. All right. Sit down. Make a, fa make a good meal. Make sure you throw some, a lot of vegetables in it here. Make sure you eat your fruits, avocados, broccoli, tomato. Okay, this is not going to work. That is way too many. I am so sorry, guys. I don't like when that happens here. All right, come on for Gemini, please. Not all sloppy. All right, I guess that's just the way it's going to be tonight. Energy work. Yep, work on that energy. Release that lingering resentment here. Do some deep breathing and look to the stars, okay? Maybe look into your birth chart too, all right? But that's what I have for you, Geminis. Feel free to like and subscribe, all right?